Let's start with the title. The way to characterize anti-Semitism is as a devil and as a devil that never dies. Like the devil, it is evil. It transforms itself, morphs its form, seduces people behind the scenes, gets others to do evil, and is highly, highly destructive, like the devil of, that we know from religion. And today, global anti-Semitism is the newest incarnation of this devil, and it's been transformed, as the devil does in lore, uh, into something new, grounded in the old, but new, recognizably the same, but also substantially different. What about this Jewish power idea, Jews have too much power? The reduction of Jews, of people who have multiple identities, to one aspect of their identity, which is that they are Jews. You see them not as business people, but as Jewish business people. Is that the, uh, the word Jewness that you used? Is that right. what you're talking about here? In Christian times, it was the Jewish religion, right? They believe these terrible things. They deny Jesus, they, and so on and so forth. In the modern period, it was their race, their blood, what we would say call today their genes that program them in, in a social Darwinian fashion to do harm to others. Today, it's much more fluid. There are many different understandings of what makes Jews what they are. The first one is political, though. That Jews simply practice, choose to be this way for political reasons, which is of domination and, and to do harm to others. And it's really, in a political, global world, that is what defines what has led Jews to be the way they are. What are the things that people can do, institutions like the JCC, like other organizations, individuals, to actually combat anti-Semitism? Because we hear about its existence, the dynamics, and so on. But how do you argue it? So the first thing we do is we tell the truth. And we have to get the word out. Most people do not really know how bad it is. We have to get the elites of countries and the political and the governments of countries to say, we cannot tolerate anti-Semitism, zero tolerance policy for it being in our public sphere. And finally, we should, we should, as a matter of foreign policy, make it tough on those which countries which are pursuing anti-Semitic foreign policy. Make it tough on institutions that are, that are promoting anti-Semitism or using it to attack Israel or Jews more generally. And the United States is very powerful in international institutions. If our government wanted to make it a central part of its foreign policy, and get others on board, a lot could be achieved. So these are some of the measures that can be taken.